Welcome to Lee and Kyo and welcome to your weekly video and we are starting a new month. Yes, we are starting December and we've been waiting for this month a very long time because we are very excited to share with you guys this topic, the topic for the month of December and we are going to discuss, we are going to talk and share with you information about stocks. Yes. Throughout December, we'll be talking about everything you need to know, all those questions that you have, all those doubts, all those insecurities. We'll be working hard to answer all those questions for you so you can have the confidence, the knowledge, the information to start investing in the stock market. So let's jump right to it and let's head to it. So the first thing that we want to share with you guys is that we want to talk about the history or sort of the background with stocks. Well, a company, when it wants to get funds, when it wants to add more money so they can do investments, they you can do investments in their products, in their facilities, so on and so forth, they have two alternatives. They can either go to an inst a financial institution and get debt with them, have the money gave them through them from the institution, or they can go and do IPOs or they can do stocks. They can go and provide stocks to people and go public. A company can go public and they can go with stocks so that people can buy the stocks and they can get the money from them. Well, how this works is that a company can go and make their company public and as they do this public, they emit IPOs and IPOs are stocks. Those stocks are little fragments, are little parts of the company that you buy and when you buy them, you start to own little bits and pieces of a company. So with that said, we have this spectacular diagram that we made, we draw for you guys and it's a tree. As you can see, the bark of the tree is black. You have the bark, you have the branches, but also you have these little red um, leaves or flowers as you will and these leaves or flowers represent stocks. So as we were talking earlier, the bark is the company, the leaves are the stocks. So stocks are a component of the company, but when it comes to buying stocks and for the company selling stocks, the more leaves that you own, the more parts of the company that you own. So for investors, if you want to invest in a certain company, the more leaves that you buy, the more uh, parts of a company that you can have. And eventually, if you are a very aggressive investor, if you have lots and lots of money investing to certain companies, maybe you can have the whole branch of trees and you can have a big chunk and a big part of a company that you're very interested with. So having that in mind, that's a very simple way to understand how stocks works and how uh, uh, stocks uh, are originated from a company. But we want to talk about something that's called an IPO. Well, the IPO is the initial price of proposition that a company gives to a stock when a company goes public they get, go and uh, distribute IPOs to the public well IPOs can be uh, priced by the company or by institutions with a certain value for example if you ha are an owner of a company and you want to go public because you want to give stocks to fund uh, the need for money that you have right now you can give a uh, initial price for that stocks. Maybe let's say it's $5. So the first time that you put out IPOs, the price for those stocks is $5. But this price can vary maybe in a week, in a month, in a year, and that price can either go up to $10, $100, $1,000, depending on the demand. And if the demand is very low, that price can go lower down and even go to the cents. So this is something very important that you should always be uh, knowledgeable with when you see companies that are starting to go public for those initial IPOs, depending on the demand that there is with that stock is if the price is going to go up or the price is going to go down. So 
when it comes to the value of stocks, there are a lot of theories, there may be a lot of formulas that theoretically can tell you how a price of a stock can work, how it's supposed to go up in value or how it should go down in value. But the reality is when it comes to stock, it's something that is very speculative and it's something that comes with the offer and demand that people want with that stock. For example, it, you can go public with a company and not many people value those stocks, not many people value that company. The price of that stock is not necessarily going to be a very high value. Eventually it could be a very low value. It could be dollars, it could be cents. But for example, if a certain company goes public or a certain company has been in the stock market for a long time and starts doing uh, investments, they start to grow as a company, the stock value will be bigger in demand so its value will eventually go up and that is how it works. The prices and the value of stocks, it really comes down to how much people want to buy that stock and how much people value that certain stock. So uh, that is how it works in reality. Uh, there could be a lot of speculation and when it comes to speculation in stocks, it could either go very high in value for a certain couple of minutes and hours or it can go very low. Uh, just like that. So stocks are very volatile, volatile, and a lot of people have uh, certain uh, insecurities. They're scared because of this. But our best recommendation and our best advice is always go for those companies that you feel comfortable with, and go always go for the investments that you feel comfortable. And that finding information, getting knowledge, and doing your homework. It's not something, it's more of a chore, it's more of a, a having fun, it's more about something that you like to go and get information about that company, it's not necessarily a chore. So before we conclude this video about stocks, we want to share with you guys, this is not a, a paid sponsor, this is not a paid, uh, we are not getting paid to talk about these companies, but the two companies that we want to share with you guys and you should actually give a try if you're looking forward to start investing, if you've started investing and, not, and you're not really sure about them, uh, how to work, how it works, uh, we recommend you first Betterment. Betterment is a great company for starting investment. It's a great company to handle uh, your stocks and your investments because uh, Betterment gives you the alternative to uh, always deposit a certain amount of money monthly. Uh, you can put how many, how, how much money you want. Uh, they give you a questionnaire, they give you lots of options, lots of alternatives depending on the necessities that you have at that moment about the stocks that you can invest in and they will start building a portfolio, portfolio that fits you perfectly for the needs that you want and for the amount of risk, the amount of uh, uh, risk tolerance that you have at that moment, Betterment is a great company for that. And our second company, uh, which we love their, uh, their organization is Robinhood. Robinhood has been the company that we've been following for a very long time and it's actually a company that we use on a daily basis. Yes, Robinhood is the organization and has the platform to buy and invest in the stock market, to buy stocks and the best thing about uh, Robinhood is that they do not, uh, you do not have to pay a fee to either use their application and use their app, uh, platform or to buy stocks. They are completely free. You do not have to pay a fee for stock trading. Uh, Robinhood makes it easy, Robinhood makes it accessible and the best part is that you don't have to pay. Uh, most of the people that work here at Lee & Co use Robinhood to make their investment. I personally use Robinhood, I've been using it for months. It's a great tool to start investing, to keep investing uh, because it's so easy, it's very ongoing, you do not have to pay fees. Uh, uh, it has an app, you can use it on the go. If you're, the only thing is that you have to be hands on with 
uh, Robin Hood. Uh, you have to be very hands-on. You would have to like to go to see what's happening in the stock market. You would like to have, know what is going on. And Robin Hood is the best platform that we recommend and I personally recommend it. So we wanted to share with you guys those two companies that you can start investing. This is not a paid ad. I repeat, this is not a paid ad. We just wanted to share that knowledge with you guys. So I hope you guys are looking as much forward as we are for this month's topic, for this month's videos. So leave us a comment down below, leave us a like, subscribe to our channel, let us know what you think, let us know all those questions that you have about the stock market or specifically about stocks. Hit that notification bell so you can get a notification every time we post a new video. Subscribe to our channel, but always remember to have that king mentality.